Welcome to Magic in the Middle. I don't know if you've noticed, but there have been a lot of wolf books getting published lately. There's The Wolf of Cape Fan, A Wolf Called Wander, The Boy, The Wolf, and the Stars, and of course my debut, The Wolf's Curse. I have read and loved all of these stories, but today I'm going to share one of my most recent favorites, A Wolf for a Spell. This story is inspired by a character in Slavic folklore known as Baba Yaga. She usually appears as an old wrinkled rich, and that's how she is in this story. She lives in a house perched on chicken legs. But there's a twist. In this case, Baba Yaga needs to right an old wrong, but she can't do it on her own. She needs a wolf's help. That's where a wolf by the name of Zima comes in. Zima's older brother is the leader of their pack, and she desperately wants to earn his approval. But when a young girl wanders into the woods, Zima lets the girl go rather than snapping her neck. She's approached by Baba Yaga and thinks she's escaped without harm, but when she lies to her brother about what happened, she's actually shunned from her pack. She actually goes on to witness another lone wolf suffer a very deadly injury, and she realizes that only Baba Yaga can help. The witch agrees to heal the wolf, but only if Zima will trade places with her. Now, as if all of that isn't enough, we also meet a young orphan named Nadia, who often escapes into the forest, and there she's trying to learn to survive in order to run away. But Katerina, the only other girl at the orphanage she's close to, becomes engaged to the Tsar, and she thinks that going away with them might be her opportunity to have a real home. The problem is she can't behave long enough, and Katerina departs without her, so Nadia sets off for the castle on her own. The book is a fun mi mixture of a wolf in a human body for the first time, a witch prowling the forest, and a girl willing to save, to give up everything to save those she loves. They come together at the end of the story in a resolution I am certain you will enjoy. If you love timeless fairy tales packed with action, this is definitely the story for you. Once you've read it, I'd love to hear what you think. You can leave a comment on my YouTube channel, on Twitter, or find me on my website at jessicavitalis.com. Thanks so much for watching and please join me again next month for more Magic in the Middle.